Alrighty guys, I'm Orthodon and we are back for Is It Wrong to Try to Pick Up Girls in a Dungeon Season 2, Episode 8. Ah, yes, that long ass name. <laughs> the, uh, the last episode we had the Ishtar Familia officially putting the order out to kidnap Bell in order to, and we officially have the answer that it is the Freya Familia that uh, Ishtar is trying to antagonize, so that'll be interesting how that, how that plays out. And then we have Bell wanting to rescue Hari Haruhime. They're gonna not by going to war. They are gonna try to buy Haruhime off them. But I imagine that's gonna go poorly since Aisha seems to kind of care about uh, Haruhime a bit. So she might either jack up the price or make it so she can't even be bought. But that's my theory. I forgot in my last discussion because it happened right at the start of the episode to talk about the goddess bit where she said you can't lie to a goddess i want like i mentioned it during the reaction last time but i wonder if that means that no one can lie to a goddess period i'm trying to think if we have any examples of someone lying to a goddess or a god or can you not lie to your own god or was that just hestia saying like oh well bell's incapable of lying to me you know like I wonder, I wonder what the rules are with that. Is it... I don't know, but I'm curious about that. But anyway, we are in the middle of a fight with the Ishtar Familia trying to take Bell while they are in the dungeon. They are separated because a group of monsters are attacking uh, the rest of Bell's group while Bell is being attacked by Aisha. So, yeah, let's, let's see what happens. I'm really excited. I want to watch it, so let's start. We're going to start here in 5, 4, 3, 2... One now. Yes, yeah, so we had that mystery girl in the in the robes that buffed her. Like I said, I don't know why they would cover her face. If uh, and she has the same kind of neck thing that Haruhime has. Yeah. Such a massive sword. <laughs> yeah, but she's also buff too. And then opening, leaving us at the same cl oh, nope. Okay, Makoto made it past the monsters. What about the rest of the party? Are they okay? I don't hope they don't die to monsters while this is happening. Jeez, damn. Oh my god. It's like a booming punch. Jesus. Well, shit. Alright. Are they taking Makoto too? Yum. That's her. They, you know what I didn't think about before? They talked about lying about, like, the Ishtar Familia lying about people's, like, level and strength and stuff like that. I wonder if that, that has to do with Haruhime. Maybe they're lying about Haruhime, because... Uh, last episode, Bell was saying that Haruhime doesn't have the blessing. That there's no, like, record of her in the guild or whatever. But there are people lying about their status and stuff, so maybe they're lying about Haruhime even having the blessing and even having, like, a level. Who knows what level Haruhime could be. Sorry about my squeaky chair, by the way. <laughs> hmm. 
I just kind of put those pieces together a little bit. Man, I said it last episode, but it's actually so damn hot today. It's like extra hot in my room. I still have my air conditioner in, which I can turn on, but it's loud, so I try not to do it while I'm recording. I'm going to turn it on as soon as I'm done recording, though. <laughs> Now I wonder if they're taking, I wonder if they're taking, uh, Makoto as well. Or are they just going to leave her there? That's going to be even more rough if it's Belle and Makoto, because that's two people away from the Hestia Familia. Whereas if I left Makoto, they'd at least have Makoto to help fight. To, to get Belle back. Oh, the prison. Oh my god. Jesus. Whips and chains and... Oh god, not this thing. <laughs> yeah, that's... That toad. Hey, I mentioned that, that she looks like a toad. I guess I'm not the only one. Is she actually, like, a toad person? Oh, yeah. Makoto, they took her too. Damn. Did Wolf and Lily make it out okay? They were like trapped by monsters, weren't they? Oh. Did she undo? I heard like chains. Oh, the keys. Oh, shit. Will Makoto be able to get Belle out to- Oh, I guess Belle's with this chick. Ugh. They just had to make her even more nasty. Why couldn't it have been, like, Aisha or someone? At least it could have enjoyed seeing the torture. What? My God, that's that's just wrong. Well, she's leaving though, and Makoto might be getting out. Are they gonna escape immediately? Oh. No, okay, so she just freed him. Let's see him Makoto. <laughs> All right, so they they know he escaped already. All right. Makoto, the hell are you freaking ninja? What? What was that? Uh, can she, like, sense Belle using that or something?
She's so angry. Oh wow, she knew it was Haruhime somehow. That's how she knew. Oh my god. So she has her own secret rape quarters, I suppose. Torture rape thing quarter thing. Did she just do it again? Oh shit. <laughs> Makoto, you damn ninja. Library. Oh shit, she's gonna find info on the killing stone, maybe. Seems like. Tell this girl you'll save her. Okay, so... Bell did talk to his goddess about it? I think that was off camera, wasn't it? We didn't see that. I thought he was doing this all behind her back. No. She planning to die? Is she gonna kill herself or is the Ishtar family gonna kill her for freeing him? this oh is this one of uh, Freya's people I think he might be the one that we saw on the roof that one night uh, in like season one when Bell was or no maybe it was in Sword Oratoria when Bell was training with eyes and headed home with Hestia Not quite. Are they gonna know something about it? The Killing Stone. Come on, Hestia, remember the name. Oh, Take knows. Oh, shit. I got a little bit of chills when Take freaked out. He, like, climbed over the table. <laughs> Jeez. We gonna find out. 
steals away the soul. What? Jeez, so is she gonna, like, enhance her entire familia with this power or something? Well, that's why, that's why Haruhime was saying, uh, was saying she can go without regrets now. Jeez. Full moon. Is that tonight? Yep, of course. Shit. God, poor friggin'. If it couldn't get any worse for friggin' Haruhime, of course. It, it, of course it can. Uh. Uh. Damn, Makoto got here fast. Oh, well, I guess Makoto also was in the mansion. Never mind. I don't know why I was thinking she was back with Hesty and them. Yep, she does. Oh, shit. Oh. Okay, so Freya Familia is the strongest, okay. I know they had the highest level, but I was unsure because, uh, Loki Familia made it, like, the deepest and stuff. Level boosting. Oh, shit. That's insane.
Jeez. And sunset. Jeez. Jesus. That's ridiculous. I'll say it again, shit just got serious. Jesus. Yeah, they're not going to be able to buy here now, knowing all this. Damn. Oh, there's more now. Jeez. God damn, guys. The feels. Shit. Shit's picking up, though. Oh my god. We got, like, a massive info dump, really. Friggin' poor Haruhime. Just... Disowned by her family. Deceived by a thug is what they said here, and sold into slavery, only to then be sold, or to be sacrificed for her soul in order to power the whole familia with her ability. That's messed up. And it sucks because, like, I hate to say it, but some of what Aisha was saying I kind of agree with. Like, Belle's indecisiveness. You know, he, like, she wasn't, 
the re like basically what Aisha said was the reason why Belle lost to her in the dungeon was because she had that buff from uh from Haruhime, which she didn't have right there. So she could have like he might have been able to win if he would have just moved, you know. Oh man. Alright guys, so that's the end of episode eight. Well, my god. Uh, so yeah, to continue what I was saying, Aisha was, like, might have lost there, or might have even let Belle win, in a way, if Belle would have made the decision, but Belle was conflicted with saving her and, you know, protecting his familia, because obviously if Belle attacked, that, that would have started a war, and they're obviously the, like, one of the strongest, obviously not the strongest, because we now know that that's officially Freya. I think that might have been the the first time that they have said the Freya Familia is the strongest. We know that they had the highest level, but I don't think they ever said, like, they are the strongest. I was curious because the Loki Familia has made it, like, deeper than anyone has since, like, Zeus and one other name they said back then. Uh, in, in Sword Oratoria. So it made me wonder, does that mean that, like, uh... Does that mean that Loki Familia is the strongest? But I guess Freya Familia is the strongest. Maybe they just don't care about going deep in the dungeon, then. Uh, so they just have never beaten that record, even though they're stronger than the Loki Familia. Anyway. Or maybe they, like, specialize in different things. Maybe their strength is gauged off the amount of, like like, levels and average, like, a, like, an average of levels, you know, and, uh, and Freya's is higher regardless, and, but maybe Loki's Familia specializes more in the dungeon, which they excel at, so, so maybe Loki Familia is top when it comes to dungeon, you know, dungeon delving, but maybe, uh, maybe Freya Familia is just top in general. Anyway, um, but basically what I was saying was, you know, Bell doesn't want to do this war against a Familia that he is pretty confident that he can't win against. But, uh... But he also wants to save Haruhime, you know? I don't know. It's a rough choice, like, I... I understand Bell's indecisiveness, but I couldn't help but, like, when I was listening to Aisha be like... You know, she's she's being a little mean, but she's kind of telling the truth, too. Like, when it comes to situations like this, you have to be, like, decisive and quick to, like, make your choice. Either run away or fight. And you have to make your choice fast, especially because you notice how many others showed up shortly after. You know, he had to make that choice quickly, but... Yeah. Anyway, um... But yeah, this full moon's happening tonight, so that means they have no time to mess around, they have no time to really, like, group up. I imagine... I imagine that they're gonna be making a move, and it looks like Freya Familia is making a move, because we saw that one guy who I think is part of Freya Familia, who said, like, that... that rabbit... that, that rabbit kid is making me do all this work, or whatever. So... I wonder what Freya's going to be up to. I wonder what Belle and them are going to do. Like, they're probably going to get back, and I imagine that they're going to fight for Haruhime. I imagine Hestia might encourage, like, you know, starting this war. And then they're going to go after him. And I think it would be really badass if, during this fight, it gets, like, really hairy, and it looks like Belle's group is going to lose, and then Freya jumps in with, like a bunch of her familia, like, I'd love to see Otter the King show up, that'd be fucking badass, I don't know, like, I think the Toad is their highest level, and maybe if the Toad got Haruhime's buff, that, like, the level boost, maybe the Toad would be able to put up a fight against Otter the King, but I don't even know about that, I guess it depends on how much of a level boost it is, is it only one level? Would she only go from 5 to 6, or would she go from, like, 5 to 7, or 5 to 8, or something? I don't know. Um, but... 
But I don't know if we're going to get to see a fight between Otto the King and anybody, really. But I think it would be badass if we did. The, uh... I don't know. I just want... I want to see Freya's Familia in action. Because we sat, we had Sword Oratoria, where we got to see Loki's Familia in action real good. And then we had... This like this part of the season where we got to see Ishtar Familia kind of being shown off, yet we have yet to have anything with the Freya Familia. So seeing that would be pretty cool, I feel like. But I don't know if it's going to happen. I guess we're just going to have to wait and see. I mean, they're trying to start a war with the Freya Familia, so if, if that does happen, I feel like Freya Familia has to get involved. Unless somehow Bell and Hestia and Take's group like handle it for them, but I don't think that I don't think that their group is strong enough to do anything, you know, unfortunately. Like we saw Bell, who is the strongest member in the Hestia Familia, get taken down by Aisha with a level boost, which isn't even their strongest member. You know. Hmm. But anyway. I'm, like, super excited to see what happens. And it got, like, it got really heavy. I was actually, like, this show, like, has its serious moments, but it also tends to have its moments where in those serious moments they make funny stuff happen, too. But this episode, they really... It, it really got real serious, and I actually, like, felt a little bit of emotion, which was, like, weird from from this show for me, because typically the only emotion I really feel is either laughter or just, like, chills from it being badass with the fighting. And, uh... But no, here I really felt bad for Haruhime. She just had, like, a, a shit deal, like, a raw lot in life. She's just kind of accepting it. I even felt bad a little bit for Aisha, you know? I mean, I, I guess what they showed us, that was their that was their purpose. They were trying to make us feel bad for Aisha. But yeah, she... It seemed like she felt bad for Haruhime and really, like... I was kind of having a hard time following along with what she was saying because she was talking about herself, but she was using she. But then a lot of the panning shots were on Haruhime, so I, I wasn't sure if she was talking about Haruhime or herself half the time, but towards the end I realized what it was. And she... So I think what it was was she... I think she really cared about Haruhime in a way and really felt bad and maybe was like, you know, took her rage out that she couldn't do anything to help Haruhime out on whatever that magic item that it showed her breaking and then she got beaten half to death and then, man, like, the adult themes in this are crazy. So she basically got beaten half to death, and then Ishtar came in and, I think, pleasured her into submission, which is crazy. Like, to the point where she can't disobey orders now. I don't know if it's some kind of, like, is it some kind of, like, mind control thing? Or is it just that she is so traumatized by that event? that she never wants to betray her again, you know? I wonder if it's something like that. Kind of like, uh... It's like a sick and twisted version of the Soma Familia being obsessed with getting the... the god's wine or whatever. Uh, but... Man. I, I did kind of feel bad for her, because she even, like... Like, even her, like, punishment to Haruhime for holding her back was just, like, a little, like... Like, she didn't even hit her that hard, you know? She, it was kind of like a little, like, love slap kind of thing. And then the smile she gave. I think she was, in a way, she, I think she was trying to really antagonize Bell and get him motivated to save Haruhime, in a way, you know? It almost seemed like that by that smile when, when they were leaving that she gave, you know, I don't know. But... But I, I do, I, I like Aisha's character. I hate the Toad. I really hate the Toad. It's freaking creepy, and of course, of course, to make it worse, she's gonna slobber and have her own little rape dungeon room. And, God. But, man. 
<laughs> I just can't believe how, like, dark and deep this episode brought it. Like, it was always, like, it was always sad with Haruhime's story, but then we also had, like, a lot of the laughs, like, quickly in between, it felt like, you know? Like, I guess we did have that long story from her about her life and how she feels about herself and everything, but I don't know. I guess I just, I think this episode really just laid it on even thicker for me because now, like, the real stakes. Like, I thought the stakes were just either Belle succeeds and we save Haruhime or Belle, Belle fails and she's just still a you know, prostitute, but she's still alive. But now it's like, either Belle succeeds and saves her, or Belle fails and she gets sacrificed, you know, her soul goes into a stone, it gets shattered into a million pieces in order to make a familia strong enough to take out the strongest familia in Orario, you know? But, jeez. Anyway, uh... I don't know. I don't, I, don't, I don't have anything else to say. I just... I honestly can't wait to watch more. Honestly, I think I'm at the point... I, I talked about it in the... I think in episode 7, the one I watched right before this. I talked about it during the opening where I was saying how I might actually have a day off. Because I am caught up now. I have... This is the last episode... I, um, it's Tuesday right now, and this is the last episode I need to record in order to release them on Saturday and Sunday. And so, technically, I could wait until, like, Sunday or Monday or something to to record the next ones. But, honestly, I'm so into this, I might record the day after tomorrow instead of taking a day off. Because I, I want to see what happens. So, I might actually just, like, blast through the rest of the season in uh, instead of taking some days off. Because, I mean, really, I don't need the days off. This is... This is a lot of fun for me to record these anyway, but sometimes it is nice to just, like, chill and not do anything for a night, you know? And whenever I do these recordings, and then after I edit, and then the next morning I have to upload and make thumbnails and do all that, so it really, like, it takes up, you know, my... a lot of my nights and my mornings, essentially, but... But anyway, um... Yeah, I think that's really all I have to say about this episode... Um, I'm really looking forward, I, I feel like because this is a story of Belle the hero, we're gonna save Haruhime, it could get really dark and she could just die, and that could be like a learning experience for Belle, you know, with what Aisha told them might stick with them a lot, but I do feel like we're gonna save her, and I really hope so, I really want her to be free. I wonder if she would join Belle's Familia, or if she would just, like, go off and do her own thing, or Hestia's Familia, sorry, I should probably say that. It'd be crazy if she joined, if she does have that ability to level boost people, because that would just be crazy to have, like, just as a one time, or like a, a buff every now and then, like, not even turning it into a killing stone or whatever, just doing like she did for Aisha just while they're dungeoning, you know? Can you imagine? Just they get into they get into a tight spot like they did here with a bunch of those wolf monsters, and they, you know, she just casts that on Belle. Belle, like, goes up a level or two, however many levels it, it boosts, and then just, he just destroys them, you know? That'd be nuts, but... I don't know. It'd be cool to have her in the show. I like I like her character. I feel like it'd be cool to see a redemption arc and follow her through, like, you know, recovering from this trauma she sustained for almost her entire life and, and stuff like that. Kind of... It reminds me... It's like a sick and twisted dark version. Like, even darker version. I guess I shouldn't say that because the, the storyline in My Hero Academia with Eri, that was dark. But this is dark as well. I guess this is a different kind of dark, you know. But but I, I really love seeing Ares' like, redemption arc and stuff like that. So I think it'd be really cool to see, you know, maybe Haruhime join the Familia. Even if she ends up being a non-combatant, you know. Just like staying with them because... I don't know. I would just... I just want to see that girl... 
be free and have a smile on our face and hang out with Makoto again. That's all I want. But anyway. Yeah, guys, that's going to be it for me. I really enjoyed this episode. It really, really hit me in the feels. But I am also really looking forward to the next episodes because I have a feeling Bella is going to come back with a vengeance and mess shit up. Fuck shit up. But anyways, guys. Alrighty, that's it for me. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you hit that subscribe button and also check out my Patreon where you can see the... possibly see some of these early because I'm probably going to release them as I watch them and upload them on my Patreon, but then they're going to be limited to, to four episodes a week. So it's possible that within the next, like, five or six days I could have the rest of this whole season on Patreon and be starting season three. Uh... Whereas I probably won't be catching up with that for a few more, like, two or three more weeks of of releasing this stuff, but on on YouTube. But yeah, check out my Patreon if you want to support me there. Very much appreciate it. I also have Patreon exclusive, exclusive shows you can see on there and stuff like that. So thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you in my future reactions. Bye-bye.